Hi, this is Ross again at Wood Fire Power. Today we're going to be talking about how you can make your own steam engine using an old weed eater that you can get for free down at a local store. So here's the engine and I'll just fire it up quickly and then we're going to go into discussing the different things. So that's it running. It's a little out of control because it doesn't have a load on it yet, but within the next week or so we'll get the alternator connected up to it and start making a bunch of electricity and turning light bulbs on. So now let me take you through the different pieces that you will need in order to build one for yourself. So the first thing you need is an actual weed eater engine or any two-stroke engine. It could be a motorcycle engine or anything. It's just that the two-stroke engine automatically exhausts on every single stroke and when you're running with steam you want to get power on every stroke just like a two-cycle does. The next thing you need is a switch and the switch will control um, when uh, the valve that I'll talk about in a minute, but that'll control when the valve turns on and off. And you can get a little switch like this probably at your local hardware store, maybe at a Radio Shack or a Fry's Electronics, something like that. Um, or you could find them on the internet or eBay for a couple of bucks a piece, something like that. Then you need to take the engine apart and use the shaft or whatever is on the particular engine that you have. On this engine it had a flywheel around and so we just put some tape over it and built the thickness of the tape using some thick foam tape on the side where I wanted the uh, cam to be. And then I took a piece of plastic PVC drain pipe for plumbing and just cut a little one inch section of that and then if you watch the valve as this comes around right here it starts climbing up the cam the switch just triggered there right there's top dead center and now it's coming down right there it clicks so that's where the valves going to turn off and then um, around the back side the there isn't a buildup of tape, so the plastic is a little lower. So you can watch that again, and it comes up, just turns the switch on. That's going to turn the solenoid valve on and flow the air in. So the switch turns on, you know, give or take a little bit, right around top dead center, so that it can push the piston down. To be slick about it, you'd want an electronic timing, and as the engine speeds up, you want to advance the timing, and so on and so forth. But for now, we're just going to try to get the engine to run so that we can hook an alternator up and make our first electricity. The power coming from the switch is just 12 volts, and I'm just using an old car battery that I had laying around. And the one expensive piece is the solenoid valve and the solenoid valve this one is rated for steam so that means it can handle 230 psi at about 180 celsius which is about 350 fahrenheit and um, it's able to do that because it's built out of stainless steel and has a PTFE or Teflon valve seat and that allows it to handle uh, real steam. Now right now today I'm just running it on air but if you've watched the other videos you've seen all the steam coming out of the boiler and that's what we're going to flow into this soon so that we can actually make electricity from the wood chips. Um, and then I have a small switch down here which is just a house wall switch. You could use any switch you want. It's just for safety to um, disconnect the battery when I don't want to have it run. And this thing kicks up to high speed really fast. So 
be super careful because if you turn it on inadvertently it hurts so being careful with it all you can hook it all up and then if you build the burner and boiler and wood chip feeder you can be making power and heat once you hook it up to this and I'll show you how to do that in the near future Meanwhile, let's have one more look at the engine running. And we'll get it running even more smoothly than that once we can put a load on it with the alternator and start making a bunch of electricity. So that's it for today. How to make your own steam engine.